Chitons, also known as sea cradles or coat of male snails, are a group of mollusks that are often thought of as ancient snails. The body plans of chitons are fairly simple, and it is believed by biologists that some predecessors of modern day snails used to have bodies similar to chitons. There are up to 125 species of chitons on the west coast of North America, and 50 of these species live in the Salish Sea. Today, we are looking at five different species of chitons. The black Katy chiton, the lined chiton, the gumboot chiton, the mossy chiton, and the red veil chiton. We will look at how their body is structured, what they eat, what eats them, and describe their habitat. The general body plan of all chitons includes a mantle that extends around the edges of the animal, partially covering eight shell plates that line the back. These eight shell plates are articulated, allowing the chiton to curl up into a ball if disturbed or pulled from a rock. When found on the beach, chiton shells are called butterfly shells because of their beautiful shape. On the lined chiton, the head plate can be seen by looking for curved lines in an arc on the shell. The mantle of each chiton species is different in both color and texture. Some are smooth and tough, others hairy or spiny, and still others feel like leather. On the bottom side of the animal, the mantle surrounds a central long foot, similar to what snails and slugs have. Between the foot and the mantle are gills on either side. Depending on the species of chitin, there can be anywhere from 60 to 90 pairs of gills. The front end of chitin is where the mouth is located, inside which is their radula, a scraping tongue that allows them to eat algae and other food sources. We'll get back to that radula later. Chitons do not have eyes. They breathe by lifting up the mantle near their head a little to allow water to flow underneath them, flowing past the gills and out the back of their body. In about 25% of cryptochitons, a scale worm lives in the gills of the animal. The scale worm gets nutrients that flow past the gills and can also offer some protection if the chitin is bothered by a predator. The gumboot chitin is the largest in the world, growing up to 33 centimeters long. On the other hand, the smallest species of chitin is the lined chitin. Age range for chitons are not exactly known. However, black katy chitons have been recorded living as long as three years, while gumboot chitons may live as long as 20. Animals that like to eat chitons include clingfish, sea stars, crabs, fish, and even humans. Chitons such as the gumboot chiton and black katy chiton are recorded as traditional food sources for Coast Salish people. They are eaten by boiling them slightly and then cleaning them. Chitons are mostly vegetable eaters, with some exceptions. The red-veiled chitin is a carnivorous chitin. It lies in wait for its prey, the front hooded part of its mantle raised, and when a worm or isopod or even a small crab crawls into its reach, the chitin snaps its hood down, trapping the prey so that it can eat it with its radula. Most other chitons spend their time chilling in a cool, shady, and protected area of the intertidal zone during the day, and then roam during the night searching for algae to eat off the rocks. They do this by extending a taste organ to feel around for food. If there is algae present, the chitin will extend the radula to scrape out the algae. Radulas are like a conveyor belt of tiny teeth. Imagine a chainsaw, sandpaper, or the rasping hairs of it on a cat's tongue, and smash those together into a rotating strip that rocks back and forth, ripping algae off the rock and bringing it into the mouth of the chitin. Chitons reproduce by broadcast spawning, ejecting eggs and sperm into calm water during low tide. Larvae swim around free for up to two weeks before settling in good spots, metamorphosing into their adult shape, losing their ability to swim, and gaining shells to protect their back. Chitons tend not to move very far from a specific home spot, usually on the underside of a rock or in a tide pool. All chitons are very well adapted to sticking to rocks and uneven surfaces because their flexible mantle allows them to suction to that surface. Strong muscles mean it is incredibly difficult to move a chitin without the help of a knife or other implement to lever them off. Many chitons are sensitive to sunlight and so stay still in their protected home until dark. The mossy chitin and the black katy chitin are less sensitive to light than most, so you may find them on rocks instead of under them, particularly during foggy, cool weather. Next time you are at the beach at low tide, we suggest trying to spot these tricky and difficult to find invertebrates.